In this video, we'll be designing a DFA to accept strings of zeros and ones and starting with zero one. So the, uh, let's uh, look into the steps here. So, so the first step is to obtain the regular expression and the language set. So first let's write sigma is equal to zero and one because it has to comprise of zeros and ones only. Followed by that, we have to write the language. So it has to start with zero one as they have said, fine. It could be zero one itself or zero one zero or zero one one or zero one zero one zero one anything. So from this language set, we can obtain the regular expression that is it has to start with zero one followed by anything comprising of zeros and ones. So this can be further written as zero one into lambda. As lambda has no value, we get 0, 1 only. So our step 2 is to identify the W min and design the initial finite automata. So the W min here can be obtained from the language set that is 0, 1. Fine. So here the length is 2. Thus the total number of states required. would be 3, 2 plus 1, that is 3. So now let's design the initial finite automata comprising of three states. First would be Q0, that is start state, followed by Q1, Q2. That is the final state. And here we have 0, 1, right? So 0 and 1. So our third step is to define transitions for each state on sigma. So we have to define transitions of all the states. Here we can see that Q0 on 0 is defined but Q0 on 1 is unknown. Similarly, Q1 on 0 is unknown. Q2 on 0 is unknown. And Q3 on 0 is Q3 on 1 is unknown. So let's solve this one by one. First Q0 on 1, we don't know. So let's put a box 1 here. Followed by that we have 0 and 1 here. So let's write 0 and 1 here. So the string, we have to design a DFA to accept a string starting with 0, 1. So is it starting with 0, 1 here? No, it is not starting with 0, 1. It does not fall under the language set. If it does not fall under the language set, then what do we do? Then it will be under the trap state. So what is a trap state? So trap state uh, is also called as a dead state. That is once automata enters the state, it can't come out. For trap state, it always, uh, it's always a self, self loop. Okay. So this goes under the trap state. Fine, let's move on to Q1 on 0. So let's write 0 here. Before that we have 0 here. Followed by that we have 1. So is it starting with 0, 1? No, it is not starting with 0, 1. It does not belong to the language set. If you add anything on the further, will it be, uh, will it start with 0, 1? No, it is not possible in uh, such cases where it starts with a given string. Thus, it falls under the trap state. Next Q2 on 0, Q2 on 0, 0. Before that we have 0 and 1. So is it starting with 0, 1? Yes, it is starting with 0, 1. It belongs to L. So let's solve it. Q0 on 0 gives Q1. Q1 on 1 gives Q2. And Q2 on 0 is unknown, but it has to always end with Q2. Thus, the only possible transition here is Q2 on 0 should give Q2 itself. So here we can write Q2 on 0 should give Q2 itself. So moving on to the next transition Q3 on 1. So let's put a box right one here. Before that we have 0 and 1. Fine. Does this belong to the language set? Yes, it belongs to language set because it's starting with 0 and 1. So Q0 on 0 is Q1. 
q1 on 1 is q2 and it has to end with q2 thus the only possible transition would be q2 on 1 should also end with q2 thus q2 on 1 should be q2 itself okay so now let's now let's move on to the step 4 that is to design dfa and define md value so let's write step 4 designing the dfa for this let's uh, draw the initial finite automata as it is and then we can uh, add the transitions q0 q1 followed by q2 so here it is 0 1 let's define q3 as uh, the trap state as I had told trap state it's always self loop so for trap state be it 0 or 1 it is always self loop so q0 on 1 is trap state q1 on 0 is again trap state q2 on 0 is q2 itself and q2 on 1 is again q2 itself so here we have designed the dfa now let's find out uh, the md values okay so can write it as md is equal to q sigma transition q naught f where this is our step 5 where q is all the states involved here q naught q1 q2 we should include the trap state as well because it is also a part of the DFA, right? Followed by that we have sigma. That is, it should comprise only of zeros and ones, right? So zero and one. Then Q naught is the initial state again Q naught only. And the final or accepting state here is Q two. So our next step is to draw the transition table of the uh, design DFA 0 and 1 here and this side we have to write the states let's start from Q0 Q1 Q2 Q3 should also be considered Q1 Q0 is the initial state so arrow Q2 is the final state so star here we have drawn the transition table Let, let's fill the values Q0 on 0 is q1 q1 q0 on 1 is q3 here q3 q2 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 q3 on 0 is q3 q3 so our next step is to take two words that is take two strings to show sequence of moves made by the dfa design so one has to be for accepting and the other one has to be for rejection purpose so let's write w1 is equal to 0 1 0 0 1 0 so as it is starting with 0 1 we know that it has to be accepted and the, on the other side let's write 1 0 1 0 so let's prove this so it has to start with q0 q0 on 0 is q1 q1 on 1 is q3 Q3 on 0 is Q3, Q3 on 0 is Q3, Q3 on 1 is Q3, Q3 on 0 is Q3. So as we have seen from the MD defined above, the initial state is Q0, yes, okay. And the final state is Q3 on 0 is Q2. So here Q2 has to come. So yes, this is also accepted.
now moving on to the other example start from um, start from q0 q0 on 1 is q3 q3 on 0 is q3 q3 on 1 is q3 q3 on 0 is q3 though the initial state is correct the final state is not correct f is not q3 right so this string is set to be rejected so i hope you have understood uh, how to design a dfa when such conditions are specified if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments subscribe to my channel thank you